Welcome to Using OneSearch Part 1. In this module, we are going to be logged in to My Red Dragon, head over to that library tab. In the library tab, we're going to look for the OneSearch and use this um, search box below to put in our terms. Today, my search is going to be a project I'm working on at looking at dragons in children's literature and maybe specifically Tolkien and how he used dragons other than the Lord of the Rings series. So let me do a search. As the database is loading, I want to point out on the right hand column, we have a new icon here with a dragon that says Ask a Librarian. And if you click that, it gives you a slide out where you can chat with a librarian if you have questions while you're doing your search. It's pretty handy and we're always there to give you a hand 24-7. So I've put in dragons. The first thing that came up is about the topic, which is an encyclopedia article about dragons, if I want to know more information about that particular term, or look for some more keywords for other ways I could search for dragons. Down this list, there are books. There's a lot of children's books. You can see it says Teaching Materials Center. Right here it says Book, Book, there's also um, the reference entry, and here's a video. But I want specifically journal articles because often professors ask for those scholarly peer-reviewed journals. So I'm going to go to my refinement results on the left and pick the peer-reviewed choice. As that um, limiter pops up to the top here, you can see as I mouse over it, it gets a little padlock. I'm going to lock that into place and then it turns yellow. Now that's locked and every time I add new terms up at the top here that's going to stay. So I can type in and like we learned in the boolean video and or or not and I'm gonna put literature into my search and hit the search button and see what we get. Oh, another limiter you may want to look at here under the active filters is if I go down here to availability, we have available online, which is a good choice to pick if you want things that you can see online in full text right now. Um, if there are things that you run across you like that are not available online in full text, you can do an interlibrary loan. Um, or if you want them available right now, see this online, available online. Um, lock this one into place as well. There's also other kind of limiters down here that are useful, like publication date, for example, where you can see 1900 to 2020, you can change this to say, um, you know, 2010 or 2000, and hit refine if you want to add a date range in there. Um, there's source type if you want to look for books specifically. So let's go up to the top. I think when I'm looking through this, I'm still not seeing the children's literature piece that I want or the Tolkien piece. So I'm going to go, after reading through these results, I'm going to head over to this advanced search option here. So let me click that. This is nice when your search gets a little more complicated because I can type in children's literature, spell it correctly, and then take this out up here. If you notice, it has a drop down where you can pick your Boolean right off this little field. So I'm going to say and. I can also add more lines if I want to put something different. And I could set my date here as well if I wanted to. Hit search. Now let's slide down here. Oh, this is looking pretty good. It's talking a lot more about children's literature. I'm reading these titles here. Oh, this one's about Fish Lake's Journey in the How to Train Your Dragon series. They made some good movies out of that. Um, those books. Let's see. What else is on here? So I obviously need to add my Tolkien piece in. So I'm going to go up to the top. But I am seeing a lot of this available online full text, which is good. Let me type in Tolkien. It's suggesting it for me. Um, and hit search. 
Now, as I am scrolling down, oh, look at that. Perfect. Beyond the Hobbit, J.R.R. Tolkien's Other Works for Children. So we're going to, um, this looks like an excellent piece because it's right on the topic that I'm looking for. And so this is the end of module one and module two will cover how to use these records, how to get the specific information out of them that you would like, like the full text and how to make a citation and how to save it for later. So thank you for watching.